Capitol Police officer killed during last month's insurrection is lying in honor at the U.S. Capitol. This is a live look at the Capitol tonight. Officer Brian Sicknick's remains were carried into the Capitol building just a few hours ago. Members of Congress can stop in the morning to pay their final respects. So what is the difference between lying in state and lying in honor? A verified team breaks it down for you tonight. The Verify team takes on your questions to break down what's real and what's not. On January 6th, Brian Sicknick, a Capitol Police officer, died during the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. And to honor his sacrifice, he will lie in honor in the Capitol Rotunda. And we've seen numerous questions about this process, so let's verify. What is lying in honor and how does it differ from lying in state? And who has received this tribute in the past? Our sources are the architects of the Capitol, the history, art, and archives of the U.S. House of Representatives, and this report from the Congressional Research Service. Let's get to some definitions with the help of the architect of the Capitol. Lying in state is reserved for those who are government officials and military officers. In our history, this tribute has been given to 12 presidents, from Abraham Lincoln Lincoln to George H.W. Bush. It's also gone to members of Congress, military commanders, and other notable figures such as Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Three unknown soldiers have also received this tribute to honor those lost in three American wars. Meanwhile, lying in honor is reserved for private citizens. Officer Sicknick will be just the fifth person to receive this honor. Before him was Reverend Billy Graham, civil rights icon Rosa Parks, and two Capitol Police officers, Jacob Joseph Chestnut and John Michael Gibson, who were killed in the line of duty in 1998 when a gunman opened fire at the Capitol. As for when this tribute is given, the architect of the Capitol wrote that there's no specific rule or law on this. Quote, any person who has rendered distinguished service to the nation may lie in state if the family so wishes and Congress approves. 